Decorating your home for the holidays can be a great way to spend family time together. A wreath like this one can be used on the porch, in your bedroom, and can be customized for any holiday. It would be even great for birthday parties or your favorite sports teams. Now this patriotic wreath comes from Angie Holden of the Country Chic Cottage. Angie creates crafts together with her three kids ages 10 to 20. They create things for their home, for parties, and for gifts. She loves to create crafts and she also shares some great recipes on her blog too. Now to make this, we're going to need a few items, including a four inch styrofoam wreath, but you could also use a wreath form or a round, it's kind of your choice. You're gonna need some ribbons and fabric, some glue and your tools that you always need, like your scissors, a marking pen, and a craft knife. So we're gonna start off by taking the styrofoam round and we're gonna create a little hole in the middle. So we're gonna take the mason jar lid and then use a marking pen to just go around the outside, just like that. Now we wanna cut out the middle so it looks more like a wreath. And you can use a serrated plastic knife, but I have a tip for you. If you take a gift card and cut it in an angle, it makes just enough of a point so that you can go ahead and use it to cut out the middle, just like that. Now we're gonna go ahead and add some fabric to decorate around the outside. And you can cut any old scrap of ribbon or yarn or fabric and we're just going to loop it around. And you don't even really need glue to start off. It kind of just catches under the beginning. And we're gonna wrap around just like this. It's a pretty easy thing to do. Now, this is uh, styrofoam, so you're gonna get some little white crumbs on your counter. So you may wanna use some newspaper or some manila envelopes or something underneath so it doesn't make too big of a mess. When you're all done, add a little dot of glue and you'll have it all covered like this. Now's the fun part. Raid your stash for ribbons, yarns, and scraps of fabric, and we're gonna tie a lark's head knot to go over the top. And to do that, it's really simple. You fold your ribbon in half with the loop at the top, take the tails and weave it through, just like that. Now, this will hang on without any pins or glue. We're gonna keep decorating using whatever you've got on hand. And again, this would be so much fun to do for sports teams or other events. But when you've got it all filled up, you're gonna create a hanging loop with some chenille stems and attach them to the top. But remember, this is just a small version. You can go as big as you like if you use a wreath form. 